you can make a energy blast like this Okay, so first I'm gonna open new composition. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, right our fire. I'll get to project file. I do have a fire just only photo. I'm gonna put it on my composition. And then I will increase transform it to fit to comp. So it's gonna be big. Well, I want to make it shorter. So I'll press scale S, then I'll decrease it to 200. I think that's good. So after that, I'm gonna look for turbulent displays. Put the turbulent display in this place effect. I'm gonna reduce the size to about um, 40%. Increase the amount. Um, I put the evolution uh, alter plus evolution. I'm gonna click this one alter plus evolution. Then I'm gonna put the expression time into 150 uh, no I'm gonna put 400 in this case so you can see now it's moving so I'm gonna duplicate this layer control plus D control plus D control plus D four times I duplicated it so um, after this one um, I'm gonna just the last one and uh, increase the size increase the amount so you can you see how it looks like now And I'm gonna put all this screen. Five hundred thirty-eight. Last one is quite. Uh, I mean, like too much. So I'm gonna reduce it to about like four hundred um, fifty. So you can see the now the effect how it looks like. It's like an energy plus. Then I'm gonna get to the next layer. Um, this is this looks okay. Then I'm gonna um, I will choose new solid. I'll put the name fractal noise. I'll put it behind second layer. Then I'll put look for fractal noise here. So after this, you can see how it looks like. I'm gonna put the fractal type to dynamic. Contrast a little bit high. I'm gonna ch uh, change some. Uh, complex subsetting get to the sub influence I will increase it to 80% near sub scaling is ok then I will get to here change this one to luma mate so now you can see is different then I'll get to the first layer uh, <clears throat> I'll change the amount of 45 percent 
size is okay. So it looks like an energy blast. So right now I'll choose for new adjustment layer. <coughs> Put it on top of everything. I'll look for um, get the effect color correction and put the tin so the color is going to be very normal then I'll get to the video code palette PC color vibrance it's completely free you can download it from uh, video code pilot website it's a free plugin and it's a nice plugin I'll put the effect it comes green but I want to make it blue color So now you can see it's like energy plus. Then I will just pre-compose all of this. Just put the name fire. Then a uh, new solid. Open new solid. Optical flares. Then get to the effect video copilot optical flares and on plug I'll just put the transparent. I'll get to the option. Delete all of this. I just only want this one. Click glow then ok so you can see it comes white when if I put it like a screen here and um, if I change the render mode just only black you can see it just looks normal now then choose the center position position x y and change the color here I'll choose adjustment layer new adjustment layer I'll put the color correction thin it's gonna be normal again then I will get the effect video code color PC color balance choose the color to blue and optical flares I will increase the brightness little uh, not the brightness is scale to 150 and I'll put a blur I'll put a fast blur and I will increase it to about like 28 40 so now you can see so I will put a new camera here on top of this uh, preset 35 millimeter make this layer 3d uh, first before 3d I will pre-compose this fire and optical flare I'll call this one energy blast then I'll put it 3d I mean, if you don't see this 3D uh, option, just click here, toggle switches, morphs. So you see if it's like this, then you can click on it, then you can see it's a 3D option. So click on 3D, 
then choose the 3d uh, rotation tool on to make it like this so right now you can see the whole skin is looks like the um, color is everywhere but I don't want the whole screen so all I want to do like I'll just uh, just put a I mean like create a mask on top of this you see it's gone then um, click F for feather feather it about like I'm gonna fill it out like 200 about like 310 so now you can see the energy plus how it looks like Now I'm going to show you another tricks how you can speed up. Uh, basically, my <coughs> computer is not too fast, so that's why it takes a longer time to um, run it. Uh, now you can see how fast it is. But if you want to make it more fast, then all I have to say, like right now, I'll pre-compose all of this. call I'm gonna put just on the energy then um, right click on it and get to the time time is stretch it's now six seconds you can see I will make it to the uh, four second 26 then click OK so it's gonna be more faster than before um, basically it takes time to <coughs> run for my uh, slow computer so you can see yep that's it so you can see how you can make your own energy blast and you can use it for your effect like um, I'm gonna show you I use this effect here uh, to create um, uh, basically I created energy blast and put it on this um, video so you can see how it looks like um, last video I already shown that how I created um, the shockwave and this video I already uh, shown you uh, the energy blast then next video I will show you how you can create like this um, basically this is the one I wanted to show you next time so before the next tutorial I just uh, wanted to show you how you can create your own energy plus and how you can create your own um, shocker then you can put it on in the effect and how you can create something like this so thank you guys for watching it